one of the most mysterious and intriguing subjects of U.S. Naval Station Argentia is the T-Building. Being one of two sets of properties, 80 acres in total, that have remained in the possession of the United States government, the other being the recreation camp, known as Northeast Arm. Why hasn't the piece of land with the T-Building been conveyed back to Newfoundland and Labrador? The answer to that question is that the U.S. still needed this property to keep under strict security and continue surveillance of activity in the Atlantic. The T building is located on the south side of the base on the shoreline and to this day is still fenced in with tight security. It housed the data processing center for a section of the Sound Underwater Surveillance System, SOSIS. SOSIS systems consisted of bottom-mounted hydrophone arrays connected by underwater cables to facilities ashore. The individual arrays were installed primarily on continental slopes and seamounts at locations optimized for undistorted long-range acoustic propagation. The combination of location within the ocean and the sensitivity of arrays allowed the system to detect acoustic power of less than a watt at ranges of several hundred kilometers. The system was so sensitive that it can even detect the presence of Soviet 295 Bear 4 engine bombers flying overhead, the tips of the bombers' long propellers exceed the speed of sound, creating sonic booms as they spin around. These sonic booms reach the surface of the ocean below, which then transmits the sonic shocks to the underwater hydrophones. In 1963, data from the U.S. Naval Station Argentia Sosa Station was used to assist in pinpointing the location of a United States Navy submarine that had disappeared after leaving Spain. The T-Building was a top-secret facility since SOSIS was part of the front-line defense against Soviet ballistic missile submarines. It was significantly guarded by American personnel and anyone who inquired were looked upon suspiciously. In a previous video, I detailed the espionage activity and how the Soviets were interested in what was going on at the T-Building, I will put a link to that video in description. After the decommissioning of the base, the T-Building was refurbished with large white radar domes being mounted as part of the U.S. Air Force's range instrumentation system for the Cape Canaveral launch facility. The T-Building was used during the Titan IV launch in 1997. There isn't a whole lot of legit information on the T-Building to be found on the internet or in the libraries. I assume that is because a lot of the information remained classified due to its sensitivity. We are told that the T-Building is currently being analyzed for low-frequency vocalizations from marine mammals living in the open ocean. I think there may be more to it than that, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the notification button to be alerted when I drop my next video. Thank you for watching.